Okie dokie. Well, morning everybody. Well, um, this video here, I'm going to be explaining the uh, journey event. I've just been working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post and like like I often do whenever I'm making these blogs, and I'm at a point where what I want to explain would be a lot easier if I just made a video about it rather than um, having to sit here and like type down this big old wall of text. And then also before I continue, I've been have I've been having TV problems lately. Uh, the screen blacks out from time to time. So, don't be surprised if it occurs here. So, with and if that, um, if and when that happens, I'll, I'll have to turn off my TV and then turn it back on again to get the uh, picture back. So, been having that problem for a while. But, but yeah, just, just to toss that out there. And then also, like usual, I'm going to have some music going in the background. Nice low res image. Um, this is gonna be Moonkeeper, the Keeper's Odyssey. Okay. So once again, um, just gonna explain this uh, journey event. And oh wow, it's a week long event. Didn't know that. So, uh, I don't want to last one day, but. Uh, basically, like a lot of these other events, there's a, a very specific uh, troop requirement. Like in this case here, you have to have blue, you have to use blue troops, and they also have to be knights. And then, this particular event, it's just all about traveling the miles. Like, I'm at a... This is actually a boss area here. But mo most of the others, you're only going to have two options. There are two paths that you can take. Um, and... Normally, you want to... You want the one that gives you the most miles. But not always the case, because... Um, it doesn't show here, but some of the choices... Will also, um provide uh, buffs that you can give to your guild and yeah this is a guild event so everybody in your guild uh, participates in this contributing it into uh, contributing points ideally try to max it out at stage 16 so Wait, but anyway um, some of these paths will give you uh, stat buffs and it applies to the whole guild, not just you. So, and then, yeah, travel miles. I already covered that. And then, yeah, I should be able to. And then, uh, one big thing about journey events is one of your troops has to have the Pathfinder. It has to have the Pathfinder trait. Gain additional miles on your journey event based on your ascensions. Uh, meaning, ideally... What up? What up? I, if you could spare the gems, you want to go to Tier 6. That way, see, so you get all these Sir Alley wins, and you can, um... Yeah. Kind of poor preparation here, but... So you can ideally try to, um, ascend this guy to Mythic level. And I can't do it here, because I'm all out of... I'm all out of sigils. And plus, even then... I'm at a point, I progressed far enough in this journey to where all the enemies are like 300, 341, yeah, battles take a long time, so. But once again, um, you have to have a Pathfinder in your team, get the miles, and um, just like a lot of these other journey events, this is the, I guess the... I want to say the either I want to say the blue version where he'll 
This guy here deals damage to an enemy, then creates three, yeah, three blue gems, boosted by night allies. So, and and it kind of, I kind of touched on this a few minutes ago. You have to have knights in your team, and they have to be blue. So, so this, if my um. If my math is right, it should create a, either 12 or 15 blue gems every time he casts this, and he himself is also blue, so it'll loop into himself, so you can theoretically keep looping this thing over and over and over. And then in, in my case, I don't know what weapon um, other people are using, but um, DJ Screw was the one that suggested this to me, just use a rope dart. It's a very rare weapon. It's only available, I think, once a year, maybe twice a year. So I'm um, one of the lucky ones. You know, removes all armor from an enemy, and then damages them, and then pulls them up to first position. And as it shows on the right, it also entangles them. And you also get an extra turn. And I also forgot to mention at the start of this video, I'm kind of half asleep right now. I really do need to lay down. But like I said, I was working on my blog post. Um, I got to where I wanted to explain, uh, explain the journey event, but realizing that I never made a video about this. So here I am. Anyway, so you, then her damage is the first enemy equal to my attack, and then gives extra attack and armor afterwards, and then gives a uh, mana to everybody else. Um, and we have Paul Parrington. This is my finisher guy. Um, when my enemies are at low enough health, I'll cast this just to just to end the battle. It doesn't always work, but you get the idea. But I, again, if uh, if I'd have known that I was gonna make a video about this, I probably would have left a I probably would have left a battle open and kind of kind of do a demo. But, uh, cause, as it is now, in order for me to do that, I'd have to spend 500 gems. So, yeah, no. And then, even then, I'd probably have to use a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I'd have to use a whole bunch of them. Again, I just, just to get the battle over with, cause like I said, I'm, I'm fighting level 341 enemies. So yeah, they're pretty powerful. So I guess, kind of a recap. The idea is to get as many miles as possible, and um, oh, and um, the way the um, the way this works now wasn't. I don't recall it being the way it used to work. Like um, this didn't exist back then where you're basically, quote, required to have uh, Sir Alvin in your crew. But these days, yup, because he has double magic, meaning he deals double damage. And the, the third trait, yeah, you can't click him. Third trait gives uh, double or triple score. as I got. It's pretty much what I did most of my stream, too. 74 battles. But, otherwise, um, that'll do her. I just want, just wanted to make this, just wanted to explain how this works, so, 
Let me uh, get this up. Get this all uploaded and or let me get this all processed and uploaded and all that stuff and then I'll keep working on my blog. But thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.